Hi, so the study I focused on was an fMRI study measuring analgesia enhanced for religion as a belief system. Introduction. Religious lore is full of stories that depict how pain has been withstood or vanquished through the power of religious belief. Although it has yet to be fully tested, it is not implausible for religious states and practices to have influence on pain. Research has determined that a variety of top-down processes can modulate the intensity of pain. These are done via diversion of attention, placebo-induced analgesia, emotional detachment, and perceived control over pain. These top-down processes modulate pain by generating expectations and selecting alternative interpretations about the pain. The key brain area associated with these top-down processes and pain is the ventrolateral prefrontal cortex in the right hemisphere, the BLF, BLPFC. This study sought to investigate whether religious belief could be shown to modulate pain in a controlled experimental setting, and whether such modulation of pain by religious belief is mediated by the right VLPFC. Materials and Methods Subjects who participated in this experiment were 12 religious people, or 8 female and 4 male, and 12 atheistic slash agnostic people, 9 female, 3 male. The religious were active Roman Catholics, while the control group were those who had no affiliation with anything religious or spiritual. Prior to this experiment, it was noted that all subjects had normal pain thresholds. FMRI was utilized to investigate the perception and neural processing of pain in these participants. Then the experiment consisted as follows. There are four sessions, each lasting eight minutes, and the two conditions, the religious condition and the non-religious condition, were presented six times. During each session, a train of 20 electrical stimuli was applied to the back of the left hand in each trial. Before each stimulation, the subjects were presented with a picture of the praying Virgin Mary, the Virginia Annunciate by Cesare Ferrato, or a non-religious image, the Lady with an Ermine by Da Vinci. The pictures remain on the screen during the simulation. While the simulation was occurring, the participants were asked to maintain their focus on the image throughout the duration of the simulation. After the simulation was over, participants were then asked to rate the subjective intensity of the electrical simulation and how the picture affected them. So this is an image of the experiment. So on the top, we have the lady with an ermine and the bottom is the religious image of the praying Virgin Mary. And this depicts the electrical simulation and the rating of intensity that the participants experiment. So the results. The atheist and agnostic control group rated pain as equally intense in both conditions. The religious group showed a modulation of pain by their preferred image. Only the Catholic sample showed a significant reduction in pain when looking at a religious image related to the Virgin Mary. They also stated that the Virgin Mary image helped to be better when coping with their pain. The neuroimaging data. The right VLPFC cluster was specifically activated in the Catholics when the image of the Virgin Mary was presented. This is not depicted when the non-religious group was presented with a non-religious image. This data supports the idea that the religious image triggered a group of specific processes in the right VLPFC that was not induced in the non-religious group when viewing the non-religious image. And these are the results. So this first graph depicts the pain intensity and how the religious and the non-religious group experienced it. And the second graph shows the effectiveness of the image. So as you can see, the effectiveness of having the Virgin Mary presented was much higher for the Catholics than it was for the atheists. And there is a, tends to be a similar outcome for the control groups for both images, whereas the Catholic group shows a particular fondness for the Virgin Mary. And this here also depicts the brain images. So this is the VLPFC for the Catholics when they were viewing the image, and then for the atheists when they were viewing their images. And this graphs over here depict the interaction between the two. It's a correlation between the studies. And then the table depicts what areas of the brain were activated or stimulated during the study as well. So the discussion. Three possible explanations for why the Catholic sample portrayed a decreased feeling of pain when presented with a religious image. 
Number one, it may be due to the idea of pleasant pictures and how the presentation of pleasant images can increase the pain threshold. Number two, perhaps the images also distracted the people from the pain. And number three, perhaps the cast example could have used a religious image to reappraise their negative experience of pain. These findings suggest that in some contexts, some religious believers can modulate their experience of pain and that such analgesic effects might occur due to a cognitive reappraisal of the negative emotional impact of pain via activity in the right VLPFC.